Hey guys, it's Wendy, Fragile Supernova. Sound if I, sorry if I sound a little off. I've been sick recently and congested and bleh, gross. Uh, maybe it's the case of the winter blues. Who knows? Um, so anyways, I am going on a trip this weekend to see the lacrosse all-star game. And it's in New York, so I thought I would do a what's in my travel makeup bag. So if you want to see, stay tuned. Okay, so. I have my Kath Kidston makeup bag and my brush roll. I got this from a friend in London and it's my first Kath Kidston and I am in love. I especially like the material because it's easy to clean if something gets on it and the inside is the same way. So let's see what we've got in here. I'll put that where you can see it. I have... My foundation I have it in a little travel case and I like this one especially because it has a pump I've never seen one like that so I got really excited I just put um, my covergirl nature looks in there for now I have my eco tools travel kabuki it's absolutely one of my favorite brushes I have another one of the travel pumps with my Clinique oh, moisturizer in it there we go the lids are a little bit hard to get on and off, which is good because I guess that means you won't get a, a leak. <laughs> then I have, I don't know if it's going to focus, my L'Oreal Studio Secrets Base, which is the primer I've been using lately. I really like it. It's good for if you have dry skin. At least it is for me. Then I have my Benefit High Beam Highlighter. This is the to-go one. I got it specifically for traveling, but I like it because it has a doe foot applicator. And if you're familiar with the full-size one, it does. It has the uh, nail polish type brush. Oh, let me show you. So, there you go. So if you like the doe foot, get the to-go size. I have my Smashbox Bionic Mascara. I haven't tried it yet, but why not try it on a trip? And it's in jet black, so that's good. I like a black mascara. Then I have my Clinique Airbrush Concealer, which is supposed to be kind of like a ripoff of the YSL. And it has the brush tip. It's really good at illuminating under the eye. My Berry M Glossy Tube in number four. This came from my friend in London as well and oh I love it and it smells so dreamy. I, I don't know it's just fruity. I like it. <laughs> then I have my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in number one. My MAC Wonder Woman lipstick in. I don't think it's going to focus because my camera absolutely hates me. But it is in Marquis de, Marquis D. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. So if I butcher it, I butcher it. But it's a really pretty pinky peach color. And it goes really well with the Barium Glossy Tube. So I like to pair those together. They make a nice nude lip. And if you're not new to YouTube, then you've seen these more than likely. And it's the bot. Uh, Let me try that again. It is the model mirror. Mine has the bow on it. And one side is, sorry for blinding you, one side is regular and one side is magnified. And there's a button that turns on lights to help with makeup application in insufficient lighting. Then I have a MAC quad that I put together for the trip. I put in brulee, soft brown, era, and handwritten. I like to stick to a neutral eye when traveling. Something I can just throw on and go out the door. <laughs> then I have my NARS Duo in Orgasm and Laguna. And you've probably all seen it before, but I will show you anyways. There you are.
Then I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in light. I just happen to have it in the Liberty of London case. And it looks like that, which I've hit pan on. Yay! My favorite powder. Then I have my Nivea Lip Balm. And I would take a paint pot, but it's kind of bulky. So I thought I would try the Smashbox Photo Primer. Photo, the photo finish lid primer which I have not tried before but I usually like Smashbox stuff so what else do we have then I have my Travelo travel perfume holder I just put a uh, Victoria's Secret body splash in there because I just wanted something nice and light. But it has a little spray. Very convenient. I do suggest those. And they're pretty inexpensive as well. Then I have three Urban Decay travel eyeliners. I have Binge, which is a navy blue. Rockstar, my personal favorite, dark purple. And stash which is a golden green. I didn't want to pack black. I wanted a little bit of a different choice to choose from. Then for my nail polish I am taking Sue vs. Shoe and Celibacy Club from the Glee Collection for Sephora by OPI. These are the minis to give you an idea. This is a full-sized OPI Sephora bottle. So they are quite small. They don't take up much room. But my favorite team's color happens to be navy blue and red. So I thought this would be good. And this to be the glitter accent nail. It's just a oh, it's just gorgeous. So that is it for the makeup bag. Now for my brushes. Um, this was handmade by a soft black star at Etsy. I absolutely love it. It's so so well made. I will forever in a day plug her because she's amazing. So I have all the brushes that I figured I would need or at least would come in handy. <laughs> so I have my Sigma SS150 powder brush, Sigma SS187, I'm sorry, these are dirty. I haven't washed them yet because I just used them recently. Um, SS168. SS190. Sephora foundation brush. Just a close shadow brush. Which is a Canadian brand of brushes that you get at Shoppers. Then I have my Sigma SS266 for my eyebrows. A MAC 217. MAC 224. Sigma 224. I packed two of these because I used one for blending on the eyes and one for blending concealer. Then I have my MAC 219 and my SS 194. So there you have it. That is what I am taking on vacation with me for the three days that I'm away. And if you have one of these videos, feel free to post it as a video response. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Anything else that I might feel the need to share will be in the information bar below so yeah that's all hope you all have a wonderful weekend bye everyone